Hello again. The meeting of the House of Commons Select Committee on Defence has revealed something very interesting, which is that the RAF has been turning down white recruits in favour of less qualified black and Asian ones. This was not stated in quite such blunt terms, of course, but it is nevertheless what has been going on. In the description to this video, I give a link to a bit on Sky News about this. This ties in with what was said last week by a member of Her Majesty's Inspectorate of Constabulary, which was that illiterate and poorly educated recruits have been accepted into the police purely because of the colour of their skin. This is a truly appalling state of affairs, and it is a direct consequence of the fashionable idea that any public body should reflect the community which it serves. In plain terms, this works in the following way. Since around 15% of the people in Britain are not white, this means that you want to ensure that 15% of your police officers, RAF pilots, firefighters and so on, are also black and Asian. Of course, the disadvantages of such a scheme will be immediately apparent to most normal people. In the first place, many of us will of course be asking ourselves what's wrong with having an air force or police force which is chiefly composed of white men. The RAF seemed to manage well enough during the Battle of Britain, didn't they? Here is a specific difficulty with recruiting black people and avoiding white ones when it comes to the RAF, which is currently in the news for this very thing. When recruiting for posts such as gunners, a standard aptitude test is given for spatial awareness, that is to say being able to work out where things are in three-dimensional space. Very important if you want to be a gunner, of course. It makes sure that you hit the right target. The results of these aptitude tests for the RAF between 2015 and 2020 yielded the following average scores. Those of any Chinese background, 60.1. White British, 55.4. Asian Indian, 50.1. Black African, 40.6. Black Caribbean, 44.0. And in the description to this video, I give a link to a news item about this from a couple of years ago, which reported these figures. Does anybody see the nature of the problem here? A woman called Group Captain Elizabeth Nicholl was put in charge of recruitment in the RAF and was forced to push through a policy of recruiting poorly performing black people instead of higher scoring white ones. She resigned in protest, having uncovered over a hundred cases where white people had been rejected with higher scores so that a black person could be recruited instead because it looked good in photographs. This then is the nature of the problem. So hypnotised our government and those in charge of the armed forces and police by the idea of diversity that they will cheerfully endanger the safety of the realm by employing illiterate police officers and RAF gunners who can't do their sums quickly and accurately, just as long as these people have dark skins. This is a scandal. 